and welcome back to our series here inside of Maya 2015 with nerve modeling and hard surface modeling of the Galette Vertigo. So, if you've watched the last two videos, you have made it through the poly modeling portion of this series. And what we want to look at now is how we can attack this in a different way. So if you look at what I currently have, so let's see, like, yeah, yeah, ta-da, yes, model. So if you see what I currently have, I've got nothing but polygon surfaces. So every surface that's in here right now is a polygonal surface. So if I hit three on the keyboard, I can actually see that this surface smooths out and I can see what my topology for this surface looks like. And as we talked about before in our previous lessons, we want to make sure that we have actual real world um, reference of our vehicle so that we know we're creating the right form. So if I look in my file, you know, you want to keep everything organized together. So if I look inside of my file, I can see that I think, yes indeed, I have the back end of my galette of my vertigo actually done. So I've got the same nice curves that kind of curve off of this form and as we say right now all this stuff currently is built inside well with polygonal surfaces so let's understand another surface here inside of Maya another surface that we can use is we can also use NURB surfaces and a NURB surface or NURB stands for non-uniform rational b-spline no it is not some funky toe disease it actually is a real piece of geometry inside of 3D programs. So here inside of Maya, let me change my views back and get these back just to some orthographic views in here for us. Yes indeed. So here inside of Maya, I can actually use this NURB surface to create, or these NURB curves to create a new surface. So let's turn off our polygons here for a second. So let's look at our vehicle. So I can look at my vehicle right here and I can see I have a T-top going on the top of this uh, vertigo here. So I want to I want to be able to create this portion and create the, and create the window and the door for the car. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use, and I'm going to switch over and make sure that I'm in my surface set of tools inside of Maya. So to get to your surface set you either want to come to the top of your toolbar menu and make sure you click on surfaces or you can hit the F4 or the function key on your keyboard. Either way is completely fine to be able to get to what you need to. So what I want to do in here is I want to create some NURB surfaces. So I'm going to zoom in a little bit in here. And let's come in here and I'm going to say create. So I go to my create menu and I have two types of NURB curves I can create. I can create a CV curve or I can create an EP curve. So if I go to the option box and let's look at what these two these two guys do. So let's drag this guy out and make it a floating panel. So as I can see with my with my CV curve tool, I have a couple of options in here. I can change the the curve degree. So I can make a linear curve. And my linear curve is going to use two points to be able to make that curve appear. So with a two degree curve, I have to have how many points? Three. The other thing of it is, is with my cubic, my three cubic curve, you have to have at least four points to make a three cubic curve, six for a five, and eight for a seven degree curve. So when you're making these curves, you can you make, make sure that you actually know what type of curve you're trying to create. By default, it's going to be set to three cubic, and that's actually enough points in it to be able to make us a pretty smooth curve, because we're going to be able to rebuild these guys later on. Now to look at my other curve option in here, I have a EP curve. When I click on EP curve, you'll see the only thing that changes in my EP curve is that the very bottom of this, and you'll see if it changed, you can see that I can't create multiple knots. So my CV curve tool can create multiple knots, but my EP curve tool cannot. Now the nice thing about the EP curve tool is that for the EP curve, if you're, even if you're making a three cubic curve, you only have to place down two edit points because EP stands for edit point whereas CV stands for control vertex so if I click right now and I click here and click here and hit Q to in process as always I now have a three degree curve so you can see I have my curve right there and I have my points that I can use to manipulate this curve and do whatever I need to do to it so it's like yay happy curve right so with 
my CV curve tool, I can come in here with my CV curve tool. I have to be able to click out all of my all of my control vertexes. So I'm going to go one, two, three, then four. So you can see now when I hit Q to in process, I actually have a three cubic curve, but you have to draw all four of the curves to make it, or the all four of the edit points rather. So I'm going to go in here and I'm just going to use my CV. I'm going to use my actually I'm going to use my EP curve tool. It's going to make this easier. So let's go in here. I'm going to go like kaboom, kaboom. There's one, and I'm going to put one across here. Let's hit Q to end process for that one. I can hit G to repeat last command, which my last command was to create an EP curve. So if I do that, it's going to re it's going to redo it. So and then hit Q to end process. So one of the things you might be looking at is you know. Well, D, why why are you only making two curves? Like I don't I don't understand. I don't understand. I'm flailing. I don't understand. All right. Well, I've made these two curves, and if I look at this shape that I'm trying to create, I've got one curve over here, and I'm probably going to need another curve right here on this side over here, and I'll probably need an additional curve back here. Well, since I've already made these two curves, I can just duplicate these guys. So I'm going to hit Control D to duplicate. Get my move. Get my translate tool and just pull this guy over aha and I'm gonna grab this one right here and hit control D and duplicate this and bring this guy like right back here now one thing you should notice I'm gonna select all my curves really quick one thing you should notice my my edit points or well, actually my pivot points for all these curves they're not centered on the curve so I wanna go back in here and center my pivots so I'm gonna select all my curves at once and I'm going to say modify and say center pivot. So now my pivots are all centered. The other thing that you should notice is that from the top view, my curves are in place. When I look at my side view of my of my car, these curves are actually sitting back at the origin of the grid. So I need to actually pull these guys up in Y so they match where they need to go. So now this is up in Y. Now I can start arranging my curves this curve right here, this back curve, I'm going to zoom in on this, this needs to come down right about there and then this curve that sits right here that's on my back, both of these curves actually, and I'll probably delete this one just for a second, I'll show you why I'm deleting that one. Because the fact of it is when I look at this from the side view I've got to make some changes on the angle of this curve so it makes no sense to make changes to this curve and then have to do it to the other curve. So I'm just going to make changes to this first curve. So I just right click on this, go to control vertex mode and drag this guy down and he's lined it up, he's all there. And go back and select it. And now that it's in place, I'm going to go here and hit control D and duplicate it and drag it over. But the other thing you want to pay attention to is is that this curve on the top sits flush but this curve it kind of wraps around so the top part of this car it's not completely flat it actually has a curve that curves around on it so this curve that I just duplicated I'm gonna take that curve and I'm gonna pull it down and why because now I have the form well I have the shapes that will make up my three-dimensional form because you have to remember when you're first working with these with these nerve curves these are not 3d forms they're not they're just two-dimensional shapes but from these two dimensional shapes I'm going to be able to generate a 3D form. So I'm going to zoom in here. Whee! And I'm going to right click on this and go to control vertex and right click, on the, right click on this other one and go to control vertex. Now one thing you'll see and we'll look at this in perspective really quick. If I look at these two curves I can see that this curve sits above the other one and if you kind of if you can visualize how this piece of the car looks, this guy would actually come straight and then wrap down and curve down like this piece on our um, on our blueprints right here. So what I want to do is I want to snap this control vertex down to this curve, so it can make that curvature for me. So if I grab this curve right here, hold down the V key, so I'm holding V, V is in Victor, hold that V key down, and then I move this point down you'll see it snaps perfectly to the other piece and it's like yay snappy snaps so what I want to do is I'm gonna take this curve I'm gonna select it and I'm gonna duplicate it the curve we just kinda curved over duplicate that guy so hit control D duplicate him 
drag that curve all the way back to the back and I can see I need to pull it down some and you can see those curves now kind of perfectly match up so you want to make sure when you're doing any type of nerve surface that your curves that you can't weld them together so you can't make them into one piece of geometry but you can snap these guys together these endpoints can be snapped together you want to make sure these are touching if they're not touching then your surface will not generate and then you'll be sitting there looking at the computer as if the computer did something wrong and it really was you because it's your fault you should just follow commands and instructions anyway just do it make sure they're all snapped together and once they're all snapped you can now start generating a 3D form from these 2D shapes so let's do that in our three-dimensional view in our perspective view rather because remember we talk about you never want to do this kind of work in your perspective view you don't want to move around points in your perspective view because perspective is the devil it can lead you astray you don't know where things are and all of a sudden you're in the corner crying and it, it doesn't help it doesn't help anybody I know it's happened to me before don't worry just just breathe all right but remember you want to use your perspective view only for viewing your 3D your 3D forms you don't want to use it for actual editing and modeling inside of your your um, inside of your on your model so to be able to generate this I can see now I've got my curves so when you're working with nerves it's all about order of operation first you have to make your curves and then you take your curves and generate a surface once you have your surface then you can edit the nerve surface so I'm gonna grab these guys I'm gonna grab all four of them and inside of my surfaces tool set I'm gonna go to the surface menu so I'm gonna go to surface menu and I'm gonna detach it the surface operation that I want to use is boundary so I'm gonna come here and click on boundary and you can see it's like magic a piece out of nowhere it just came and now it's real and it's real so but one thing that's happening with this piece and if you notice this on the side that I have that's facing outward the sheet is showing up completely black well that's the issue that's happening with our normals if we look at the other side of my if I look at the underside of my model it shows gray which is showing the right actual um, color and stuff on it so we need to reverse the direction of this surface because this is backwards right now if we click this to render we would never see it because this is the inside of the actual model so I'm gonna click on that surface and come in here to edit nerves and I'm gonna say reverse surface direction and when I do that it turns all gray it's all beautiful look at that yeah yeah I like that yeah you know you like that so it looks good so I've got the top part of my door actually finished so I need to continue with this right because that, that was pretty simple it's pretty easy so we're gonna we're gonna keep it up yeah, you know there's some more stuff so the easiest thing that I can see to get the rest of this door in here it's gonna be easier to draw this door from the side view than it will be to try to draw it from the top view because from the top view my angles are already there but it's, eh, it's a little weird so I'm gonna draw this from the side view so I'm gonna go back in here and go create and get my EP curve tool because remember our EP curve tool we can lay down edit points and it still will make us a three cubic curve so on the side view I'm gonna click here and click here and hit Q to end process and there's my curve so yay curve this next curve I'm gonna do it with my CV curve tool because I'm gonna come here and say CV curve and this curve I'm gonna make it starting from right here put one point there one point here one point here and one point down here where this ends off at and hit Q to end process now you can see that this curve it does not match this completely because we're gonna make some changes to it so I'm gonna right click on it and go to control vertex select that vertex right there hit W to get my translate tool and then let's move this curve until it curves oh uh, yeah that's kinda yeah that's sexy I like that so let's move this CV down like right about here oh yeah 